Thanks, Thank you're welcome. It is 527. I just wanted to do a quick test. I just want to see if you can see my screen here, everybody, before we start. Can you see my screen there? Paul's going to start off, but I just want to make sure you see mine because we didn't test my screen. All right, I'm going to put Paul back. Okie doke. Yeah, that's Paul's apartment. That's Paul's apartment. He just texted me. He just he just he just texted me. He took this picture. I'm like, oh, that's a gorgeous picture, Paul. Hello everyone again, welcome. That was the voice of Melissa Arnold that you just heard. Today we're pleased to be able to bring you both uh, Melissa and Paul from thesockswish.com. I'm Melissa Arnold and Paul Lang. And again, we'll be starting promptly in now just two minutes. Two minutes start time here at Online Trader Central. Thank you again everyone and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. Your host presenters today, Melissa Armo with thesockswish.com and Paul Lang. Again, start time in now just about a minute, about a minute start time here. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. We want to welcome the new folks who just joined uh, Donjigal, if that's D-O-J-I-G-A-L, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, RoboBoy, Bill from Huntington, West Virginia, Alan Caesar is here with us, Kirsch and others. This is Online Trader Central, and we'll be starting uh, promptly in about a minute. We want to welcome Adam, Ram, Peter, P, and others. Galahad is here with us. This is Online Trader Central. We do try to start on time. We try to end on time. And we, um, again, are indebted to our hosts and presenters today, Melissa Armo and Paul Lang from thesockswish.com. Again, we do try to, uh, to start on time. So with that, let's, uh, let's get started. Percussion drummers, are you ready? <laughs> And with that, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please, and welcome our host and presenters today, the good folks from the <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody, or good evening, or good morning, wherever you are. Can you all hear me okay? Can I get a nice hello from everybody, please? It's always good luck to say hello to your presenter. This is Paul Lang speaking. Everyone out there? Now, how's the sound for all of you guests out there today? I'm going to start off talking today for about 20 minutes, and Melissa's going to take it from there, okay? The rest of you guys, somebody saying hello to the rest of you good out there, everybody? Hi, guys. All right, welcome. Today's title, as you can see there, is earning 20K a month and 30 minutes a day trading gaps. Let's take a look at what we're going to be talking about today. Again, this is Paul Lang, and I'm going to be starting off. Melissa will be coming on uh, when I'm done in about 20 minutes or so, Okay. So with that, let's take a look at what we're, going to, what we're going to talk about here today. It's a great time to be trading with the stock swoosh, second quarter earnings season. Um, as you know, or you probably know, as the title implies, uh, we look at trading gaps. And the reason we do that is because gaps are one of the things that give you an edge. I'll go into that in just a minute. But the reason that says us here about second quarter earnings season is because during earnings season, what happens a lot on the daily charts, everybody? If you've been trading for more than a few days or a couple of weeks, you probably know this. What happens, everyone, when we have earnings season? We get a lot more what? That's right, a lot more gaps. In other words, earnings come out and stocks open at a very different price from which they closed the night before. And this big discrepancy from where they opened to where they closed the prior night gives us opportunities we'll take a look at in just a minute. And that happens much more often during earnings season. That's something I want to bring out real uh, carefully here that a lot of people don't understand when we talk about gaps. We're not actually talking about playing the earnings. That's something that scares people. So this is not about going out before earning, trying to understand what's going on, and then making a play and hope that the stock gaps making you money. That's not it at all. 
that's just a gambling game that, you know, in all the years I've been trading, I've never been able to figure out and nobody could figure out. But what gives you consistent profits is reacting to the gap that occurs after the earnings are released or, for that matter, whatever happens to make a stock gap. Does that make sense, everybody? So we're talking about making plays on stocks after the earnings when that risk has been removed already. Make sense, guys? Here are some contact information for us. You can read those over there. You can click on them if you want to save any of those. The emails for Melissa, myself, our phone number, and various social media sites you can contact us through as well. Okay? And the disclosure, of course, uh, we want to make sure you understand. Read that over and also understand that we're going to be reviewing some plays and trades that we did and plays that were we've done in the room. Uh, but these are not necessarily recommendations going forward. They're just telling you what we did in the past, okay, using the system that we're talking about. And um, for those of you, you're going to see this again at the end, but for those of you who are newer to the stock swoosh, you know, there's a lot of places out there where you realize that, but the stock swoosh is a very, very credible place. And one of the best ways you can tell is by testimonials. Um, if you, um, you can see some of them there, and there's too many to post in here, but if you want to click on that link, you can go directly to the source and read from uh, in testimonials, and I'll even, you can click right on there. It should work, I believe, if you click on it. I think I can post a link in here too. Can I? I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess I can't. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. So there's the there's the link. Um, so go there and check it out. Uh, there, there's more than you can read, and they're all, you know, mind-boggling. They're great. So take a look. Important that you know who you're dealing with. Let's start off with this. There's always this question out there. We look at trading gaps, and we also prefer the short side for a very simple reason, because it gives you an additional edge, okay? And here's where that edge is shown. And some people say, well, gee, we're in a bullish market. We are in a bullish market. Melissa's going to tell you about the bullish market because she's playing the bullish market bullishly. I actually didn't catch this one, but she's playing it bullishly for a while now, and uh, she's going to talk about that when she comes on. But the point is that this... Take a look at the chart here, and the question is, can you make money shorting stocks in a bullish market, or why would you want to? Well, because when you have this gap effect, you actually get even better moves to the downside even in a bullish market. Does that make sense? Do you believe that even? Can you make money shorting in a bullish market? Well, take a look. This was the market going up like crazy after it gapped up. This is the day just a couple days ago, and this is a stock that gapped down. You don't even see the prior day's price, but it's gapped down and is falling like a rock. Market up, stock down, same day, same time. And this happens all the time. Why does it happen? Um, I want you to pretend that you own this $15 stock when it was $18 way back here somewhere. Okay? It went up to 19, went up to 20, maybe you're up to $3,000. You're holding it for a few days. And you wake up one morning, and instead of being up $2,000, you're down $5,000. Everybody, please answer. What is going to have to happen sometime during this trading day? If it opens here and does this, and then does this, and does this, what is going to happen to you during that trading day if you're long this stock and down way more money than you're supposed to? What's going to happen? Answers, folks. I'm going to make you put your fingers to the keyboard there. Well, what's going to happen? Somebody give me the right answer. I got a couple of wrong answers here. What's going to happen? What has to happen? I want you to think about this because it's, it's critical to the reason about why gaps work, about why shorting works. What is going to happen? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, some of you have it. I think the closest word is probably panic. What's going to happen is that you are going to have to manage this position. Now, that means either selling it right away or selling it when it starts to drop, or some people will try and hang on by their fingernails, clenching to the edge of the rock, but they're going to get killed. And what happens is the more the people start to sell, what happens? The more the price drops and the more that other people have to sell. We call that a snowball effect. Now, when this is happening, some of you guys didn't answer, when this is happening, do you, do you care that the market's going higher? Does, does that put money in your bank account? Do you care that the GDP just went up 2%? Do you care about any of the stuff that's making the market go up when you're getting killed? The answer is no, you don't. You have to sell, and you have to sell more, harder, and faster the more that it drops. And this is that snowball effect that we capture by trading gaps. Hope you enjoyed that slide. I did. <laughs> what does it take to make really nice money? You need a method that gives you an edge, okay? Um, I have been doing this a long time. Melissa's been doing it a long time. And... I, I can tell you the easiest way to, to fail 
The easiest way to fail is just come to the market, think you're smarter than the market, think this is easy, and just go out and start shooting from the hip. As a matter of fact, that's what 90% of the people do. And another great statistic is 90% of the people who come to the market without any kind of training lose. And I think there's a pretty direct correlation there. You need to have an edge. That means a, a concept where you can reproduce something you do and have it work on a consistent basis and be able to prove that. You need to execute that method properly. Now, the funny thing is, it's not hard to get an edge. A lot of people get edges, but then they never actually use that edge. They never execute properly. Is some of you in that category? I mean, does some of you do that where you kind of know what to do, but you just don't do it every day? So you need to really perfect your entries, your management, control your losses, and, and watch how the money management works, and check on this every single day and make sure you're doing it properly. And the third thing you know is know how to manage the money. I mean, it doesn't help to have winning plays and do well if you're not really making significant money from it. It's, it's very possible. I know traders that when they're developing, they may have two or three or four winning trades in a row. They have one losing trade, and guess what? They're down money because either their winners are so small or their loser is so big that they're not making money. And, and then again, that's easy to do. Anybody can do that. So we need to manage the money in a way that the good trades that we're doing put money in the bank account, correct? The key to day trading stock successfully is to trade a method that is reliable and makes sense. Success or failure has every, everything to do with the quality of your method, okay? What kind of a system method makes sense? Well, we look for a method that tells who's in control of the stock at any moment in time, okay? There's only, a, there's only really two ways you can ever know who's in control. And one of those, the best way is the way that we're talking about is the way by looking at them through gaps. You need a method that offers consistency, okay? Gaps tell you where the big money is going and you have to know to trade it correctly for consistent profits. The main reason why traders are all over the place and the result is they lack consistency. The great thing about gaps is a lot of stuff is going on. As a matter of fact, oftentimes it's like a whole year's worth of trading is going on in a couple of hours, and I'm almost not exaggerating. There are many, many gaps that, that move multiple days or multiple weeks of movement in 30 minutes. It's, I'll show you some in a minute here, okay? Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> uh, and by the way, the rest of you, you can't see their comments. The room is closed, if you don't know, so you're seeing what Melissa types or what I type or what the other moderators types, but the, the rest of you, you're, you're not seeing, you know, the rest, the rest of your comments, but, um, but thank you for all you that are, that are commenting. Um, so it's important to get that consistency, okay? For example, it, it's really, really, really tough. You just can't go long and short the same day on the same stock when we're trading gaps like this because the conviction requires that if big money is coming in one way or the other, that that's the direction of the flow. That's what you want to do is follow that flow. Why would you want to do it the other way, okay? Now, I know of people that will say the stock gap down was terribly bearish, it was falling all day, and somebody grabs it for 12 cents higher. Okay, you know, big deal. So, so you grab 12 cents higher and you miss the dollar move downward. You know, why are you always walking into the wind? Why don't you just go with the flow? It's so much easier. The, the number one way to lose is to always try to think you're outsmarting the people and fight the trend. The trend that's in place is your best friend. It's one of the very few sayings I feel in trading that actually is true. When many of you come to trading, you learn a whole basket of sayings. Most of them are given to you by the losers of the market that don't know what else to do but make up sayings. But there is one saying that's true, and that the trend is your friend. When you have power going down, power is being driven by big institutional money, you don't try and fight that on the few moments where some, somebody's bouncing back a few cents. You follow the flow all the way down, okay? For example, this was a trade that I did Monday right in the, the stock swoosh, the stock swoosh trading room. I have a hard time saying that sometimes, Melissa. In the stock swoosh trading on Monday, and this is a great example of what we're talking about. This is the daily chart. This is the daily chart of INSY. What's the name of the company? Uh, oh, there it is. It's on, I was gonna say, I don't know, I don't care. I really could care less what they are, who they are, what they do. Um, all I know is that when this stock gap to here, and again, I'm asking you guys a question, so if you guys could quickly answer for me, because I only have about eight minutes left before Melissa's gonna yell at me. When this stock gaps to here, what can you tell me about everybody who's long in this consolidation? Everybody who bought this as a breakout, Everybody who bought this as a breakout, everybody who bought this green bar, everybody who bought it over this pivot, everybody who bought this bicep, everybody who bought support. What can you tell me? What do they all have in common, everybody? 
they are right thank you you guys got this one they are trapped and they are in pain and every penny that that goes lower it's going to cause another person to decide to get out and it's going to cause it to go another penny lower and five more people are going to decide to get out and that snowball effect starts and what does it look like well this is the daily chart right this is the gap this remember it closed up here everybody's all happy and you know holding their hands and everything's wonderful and they, they wake up down here and this is by the way this is like four dollars on an 18 dollar stock four dollars on an 18 dollar stock that's a lot right and here's the intraday chart now this is a two minute chart now this is where it closed i'll make sure you're following me i'm gonna go back up just real quick here this is the daily chart that's where the stock closed the prior day it opened down here and of course we call this a gap if you're because it literally leaves a gap on the chart no trades occur between here and here yes maybe some pre-market trades but no real trading went off during that time it opens down here and boom it falls now per the entries that are dictated in the golden gap class this could have been played here i didn't do that why well i'm often looking at two or three different things maybe it caught me off guard i don't know but i didn't do that entry but i did this entry over here this is another entry out of the class and got this move now this move that total move was actually a dollar 40 on a 14 dollar stock to the low of the day now i didn't get the low of the day it was about 20 cents off the low when i got it but a dollar 40 on a 14 dollar stock anybody good at math you want to give me a quick you got a calculator there can you give me a quick percentage what that is and yeah, we're talking about the percentage of stock actually moved. It has nothing to do with your profit, really. But that's a 10% move, right? That's a 10% move. I mean, how many people are striving to make 10% a year, let alone in, well, how much time? Less than one hour. This is why such incredible profits can be made. Um, 1,000 shares, just 1,000 shares, which is really nothing. As a day trader, your leverage, $1,100. Now, we're talking about... We're talking about the title is 20k a month that's there's 20 trading days a thousand dollars a day just showing you examples of how you know and i'm not going to say this is easy all the time but it, it is it very 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 doable it is once you learn what you're doing and you know what two three four thousand shares is just a common trade on this and you know what this almost makes your whole week on one trade so and again this is not from six years ago this is not the trade of the day from 1982 this is two days ago because we put trades in here you know we have to get these things ready by this morning so we put trades in here from the prior two days and that's generally what it is so that's what happened um so again just emphasizing that, that yes this is very very doable and i'm going to show you some other trades and this is going to show you some trades as well too really keeping a prop one profitable strategy is all you really need to make money in the u.s stock market okay u.s stock market unlimited unlimited potential to pay active traders but in order to be successful it's important to have a strategy why do you need one what what strategy can make you a lot of money proper focus and knowledge is key to consistent trading success okay this method the golden gap class what melissa is going to go into more detail just a bit later i just want to throw this out to you right now what's great about it is that this method tells you how to make money in the market a trading a system that is profitable by trading golden gaps that are a highly profitable standard because they focus on large momentum to trade you're not going to be sitting in a stock that's just sitting there going up and down three cents waiting all day just looking at it nothing's going on this is going to be these are things that are going to be moving moving in a good way what stocks do you trade well the golden gap system is a 26 point rating system and you're going to be trading stocks generally speaking that are 20 points or more that's the cutoff to say this is something that we now have great conviction that is going to go in the direction we feel it's going to go because it meets the point system that we're looking at very objective way to do it when do you trade them another huge thing for people there's a lot of people i know will look at stocks and look at gaps and say yeah i know that's going lower and they never they never trade it because they never get into it you have to know when to trade you have to know which ones are going to be quickly dropping and how to get into them in the right way and which ones may be a problem to get in early. very important to do okay all right, let me give you a quick quiz here because we covered this already. So let me ask you. This is GPS. Now, this was a play was from the room was from last week sometime. So this, this one is a couple days older. But it was just a great example because this particular chart confuses people. The stock is going to gap to right here. You see this arrow? <clears throat> it's going to open right here. Everybody see that? Which way would you think it's going to go from there? Because this chart tends to confuse people. Which way do you think it's going to go? 
Just looking at that chart, everybody give me an answer real quick. Looking at that chart, looking at the daily, and all you know is if the market hasn't opened yet, you're looking at the charts, you're saying, boy, it's going to open down here, it's trading right here, free market, and this level right here. Boy, looking at that opening there, I think that's definitely going to go, what? In circles, higher, lower. To answer that question, any other answers out there? <coughs> to answer that question, Here's the question you always want to know. Who's in control of the daily chart before the gap? And who's going to be in control after the gap, right? Who's in control of the stock before the gap? Well, that's one of the questions we look at. And the bears are, the sellers are, okay? The big money coming in is selling today. That's the daily chart. There's the daily bar that formed that day, okay? Conviction of the downside? Absolutely. Here's the one-minute chart that formed. The stock gaps to right there on the one-minute chart. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Gaps right there on the one minute chart, right? What's going to happen to it? What direction would you play it? Well, we already know it's going to go down. But look at that pattern going down. This is the great thing about shorting, guys, because of, I mean, we do long sometimes too, but when you short, things just fall faster than they rally. Excuse me one second, I have to cough. So sorry. Yeah, <laughs> there's a few people getting the answers right. Nice job, everybody. But when you when you short like this, look at this pressure that's coming in. This is that big institutional money that's coming in. It's hard to mess this up. Once you get short, it's hard to mess it up. Who's in control of the one minute chart? Don't even need to answer that for me. Did they ever lose control? No. The entire day of pure selling. Every single tick going down almost. Okay, GPS, huge move. You find gaps like this. And again, I'm emphasizing that we, and during earnings season, we usually see multiple trades like this every day. And during non-earnings season, maybe you see one a day. And we emphasize just getting and trading and being done by 10 o'clock, 10.30. We close the room at 11 o'clock. And, and Melissa is really great at this too. She just emphasizes, you know, if you have a day where you got it wrong, Take your, take your loss, put your tail between your legs, go home, because you're going to make money at the end of the week. You're going to make money after two or three days. Don't worry about the one day. What a lot of traders do is they bury themselves, right? That they get a bad trade, and they say, I got to get out of this. They get another bad trade. They get another bad trade. And pretty soon, the week is ruined, right? Has some of you been in that position? There's, there's a saying that I love that's called, if you're trying to get out of a hole, stop digging. It's a great expression because it really applies to trading a lot of times. This kind of trading appears to be highly lucrative, but can it be duplicated over and over? And the answer, yeah, it can. We do it all the time. The market never changes because it's based on people's emotions and people's emotions mm -hmm. never change. I want to show you something. You're probably saying, okay, gee, you, you pulled, okay, fine, you had a couple of good gaps the last couple of days. This is all the last couple of days. I mean, <coughs> maybe, I'm sorry, boy. I mean, you know, might just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I got a, something stuck in my throat. But I want to show you these. This is going to be, there's a page here, a page here. These are six charts. So these are not all the gappers. These are just ones that had really big moves. I want you to take a look at these. And these are just the last, you know, two, three, four days. I, I think maybe the part of this goes back is till Friday. Um, but, but take a look. Maybe, uh, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. HTZ, and this is a, this is um, a play that I did yesterday. HTZ, boom. See that? There's the daily chart up here on top. Daily chart, you follow me? And then an arrow showing you the intraday chart. Because of that gap, look at that sell-off. Can you make money on that if you get in in the right spot? Absolutely. Car, daily chart. Actually, it looks kind of similar, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, they're probably similar companies, aren't they? Car, Hertz, I didn't even think of that. Virtually identical intraday pattern. Boom. HZNP, HCNP. That gap produces this decline. Can everybody see those okay? You know, the charts are a little small. They're six on a page, but you get the idea. These are really, really big moves that are happening in 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes top, right? Here's three more. Now, here, let's start over on the right here, because this is another decliner, INSY. Look at this drop. Boom, 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 right? INSY I actually played on Monday. It was actually, I played on, I think I played on the second day that it gapped down. And then to the long side, the things work. These are from today, where the market was bullish. and made some bullish gaps. So this is a very bullish gap in FIT, FIT. Look at this move. Boom. Daily chart. Very highly rated bullish gap. Boom. 
JPM, I think Melissa is going to talk about JPM in a little bit. I just put it in here to show you, look at the move that some of these things have when they get the power of that gas, the power of institutional money right behind you. Things have the big moves, okay? So folks, um, I am going to at this point turn it over to Melissa who's going to go into some of the plays, a little bit on the market, and talk about um, a little more detail about why the Golden Gap rating system is so consistent and reliable. So. Thank you all for listening to me. The best part still coming. Here is Melissa, the owner of the Stock Swoosh. Thank you so much, Paul. Thanks, everyone, for coming, and thank you, Online Trader Central, for having me. I love Paul. I'm, I'm sitting here listening to him like a student. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to answer the questions, except for no one can hear anything I'm saying. And the funny thing is that ever since I hired Paul, which was recently to come partner up with me, I cannot believe how similar we look at things. One of the things, well, except for the market, <laughs> that's the only thing that we don't look at similar. But other than that, we look at stocks similar because what Paul said was absolutely true in reference to the fact that one good guy would, could actually take out so many people that it could be so powerful that it takes out like a year's worth of longs or trainers or people that are down in the panic action. One of the great things about my system is that it is so, so detailed. And Paul has traded gaps for years and years and years long before he met me, except for the fact that Paul never looked at 26 points, probably because 26 points is somewhat obsessive, except for the fact that if I could come up with 126 points, I would because I don't like to lose. But Paul pointed out something, which is true. When I take a train and it doesn't work, I, I say, you know what, you really got to stop. Then you got to get up the next day and you go after it and you go after it hard. You have amnesia about the previous day. One of the great things about my system is that I'm trying to find the best thing every day. So if you just follow the top pick, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, stay with it. You can stay consistent. A lot of people struggle with making money in the market as day traders. I, I don't know why, except for the fact that, number one, they don't have a good system, and number two, people cannot stick to their rules, okay? For me, my rules is who is in control. For me, that means the power money, all right? So the points tell me the power of money. So that's how I know. All I have to do is say, okay, well, how much did this gap rate? If it rates 22 points, the control is to the upside or the downside, whatever, if I'm looking at a bullish gap or a bearish gap, although I prefer to short. We're going to talk about the market here, which is a long, but ultimately, it's who is in control. It's the power of money. Power of money in the market is created by institutions who set the tone for a stock's move in the day. If you become a specialist in defining what institutions are buying or selling, then you will have a huge advantage in your trading. Like Paul said, it's not about playing against it. Everyone wants to get tricky. You don't really do that. Power of money sets the trend. It makes the trend and it changes the trend in charts. I called the market long today in a bullish gap up. And I think a lot of people thought it would come in or fall or fill the gap. And it was an amazing call. And I've been calling the market long for a while. But the bottom line is that you've got to look at who's in control. If you are not trading on the side of power and money in the market, you will have a hard time seeing lasting and consistent success. And that is what it is about. Because if you have one huge day and you lose the next 10 days in a row, then, then what does that mean? It means nothing. You have to make money consistently. You cannot lose that often, all right? And in order to do that, you have to be able to learn how to read and trade the side of institutional money. What do I mean? Banks, hedge funds, big, big traders. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times, all times. Now, here's the market. I don't, I don't remember exactly how we closed today, but I looked at how we're gapping up tonight. I think we hit over 208, either in the post market tonight or into the into the close today. I called the market long today, long, and no one believed me. But it was a great, great call. And the fact is the market is higher. And this is exciting, it's exciting because I saw it in the gap. And the way that I can make these calls is because of my 26 point rating system that I can predict that we would hold the gap today. And we held it, we held it in the open. We held the market in the open at 9.30. 9.30, the market's at the low of the day, at 9.30 in the spy. And I cannot tell you what that means. That means the market is higher, it was higher in the day. And one of the things if you come and you learn and you take my class that you will learn is not just the 26 point rating system, you will learn how to read the first five minutes of the day. The first five minutes of the stock, any stock or the market or any ETF tells you 
what the stock's gonna do for the whole day. And I'm telling you, the market set the low of the day into the open at 930 in the first 60 seconds. I called it, I saw it. And people went on the market today. This was a great call. And obviously, those of you who have been following me, I've been calling the market higher. We'll make a new high, we'll make a brand new all time high. And I made an option trade for the market long, higher, over the high, which was 213.75 or something like that was the last high. And it was the point I'm trying to make is that this is power of money because we closed last night at 205, whatever, and then we gapped up this morning. And I woke up in the morning and I saw the gap. And it wasn't really a big gap up, but it was an exciting gap because I knew we would hold. And, and not yet, but soon, shorts are gonna get squeezed out and then that will create more green and also you have buying. What happened today was buying. Actually, what happened today was buying a little bit of squeezes of intraday squeezes, not long-term squeezes of the shorts, but it was, it was actually buying that made the gap, held the gap, held the low, held into the open, held, 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 and then what happened was we rallied and then I don't know what we do tomorrow. We'll have to see in the gap. But every day I get up and I read the gap. And so if you trade a stock or the market or anything, anything at all, if you know how to read the gaps, you can predict what the stock's going to do. Or an ETF. You can use this for futures. Forex is hard because you only have one gap a week. But you can use it for options or anything that caps. And that's what I love about what I do. So to make it in this business as a day trader, you, you can't lose a lot. So you have to have something that tells you where the money's going to go. Where is the money going to go? You have to win more than you lose. That is the only way that to consistently make money. If you're losing more than you're winning, you're going to be in pain. You're going to be down on yourself. You're going to have a negative attitude about life and trading in the market. You're going to want to blame everyone in the world and you're going to feel bad about yourself. Besides the fact you're losing money, which is actually worse. The emotional roller coaster that people go on when they lose money is worse than the losses of the physical losses of the money. So you got to feel good about yourself and what you do. And that means you do something that works, even if you're making a couple hundred bucks a day. But the topic of this webinar is to be able to make 20 grand a month. That equates to about $1,000 a day, but many, many trades actually work out to be more than that with not that much risk. Paul showed some of the examples. I'm going to show some more in here. And also, you have to win more than you lose. What helps you be a right a lot? It's the system. I think literally everything out there at, at, at the time the market fell this year, earlier in January and February, was calling the market as a short. And even now, people are still saying this is a, a bear market rally. It's not. How can I stick with my conviction 100% and make the calls and take the trades and be an overnight long to the market because I believe in my system? Now, I figured it out myself. It took me three years. I lost a lot of money until I figured it out. But I've been doing it for so long now that I believe in it. If you don't believe in what you do, then you got to learn something that you would believe in. Okay, and what my class teaches you is a rating system that helps you to believe in it. If you rate it yourself, you'll believe in it. So I'm teaching you the 26 points. So you can take my calls if you want. All right, you have to take the class to join the room, but you can you can take the class and join the room and take my calls. But if you rate it and you get up in the morning, you rate it yourself and you say, this is 22 points. And you say, this is, oh my gosh, this is a long or this is a short or whatever. If it's gapping that or up, it depends. But I'm saying, if you if you know the information, because you took the class and you learned it, you will have a conviction. You will be able to stick with a train. You won't kill it or you won't flip it or you won't do the wrong thing or get out too early. And that counts. It counts for you making the money. It counts for you holding the trains. Now, this was the HTZ. This is one of the ones that Paul happened to like a lot. It fell. It's a little, it's a little rinker dinker. All right, this isn't going to fall like five dollars or something. But you can take a nice position in something like this because the stock price is cheap. It has a good risk to reward, and also it had the follow through. So the follow through was dropped in the day of the gap, gap down, boom, closed the night before up here at whatever nine something, gap down in the morning here, broke nine, fell, fell hard, followed through. As Paul was saying, sometimes these things can continue for days and weeks and years and months. Now this is already. This is already kind of going, but you could have played it here and you could have played it here. So anyways, here's the one minute chart. I like to trade into the open, into the first five, 15, 10 minutes of the day, and then I like to be out. I like to be out by 10 o'clock. And I go roll them out of every trade by 10 o'clock. Some days I hold a trade if I'm in it a little bit longer, but the stock gap down, okay? Here's the close of the previous day. This is a weird open actually. Open rallied, broke. Fell, dropped. You could have been in it here. Anyways, rallied up. Here was Paul's entry in this. Boom, broke. 
So this doesn't look like a million dollars, but the fact is the stop was tiny. It was a baby stop. So a lot of people say, well, how do you make the money when you say the cents, Melissa? You say 10 cents. It's not 10 cents, but it is 10 cents. It's the difference between the entry and the stop. So if the entry is here and the stop is here, if the difference between this number and that number is 8 cents, and that's the risk. So 8 cents times 2,000 shares is what? 160 bucks. If the stock drops 20 cents and you have 2,000 shares, it's what? You make $400, okay? So that is a good trade. It's more than two risk units. Does this make sense? You, you have to look for stuff like this all the time, all the time, dun, 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 dun. But you get it in what? It's in the gap. And so you get it in the gap. If you don't have the gap, you can't do this because this will not hold, follow through, have the drop. I call it the money move. It's the break. The break and where you just take the trade and you're up as soon as you take it and it just keeps going. I do this all the time. Why? Because of the gap. So it's because of the gap and the rating and the gap. You cannot short like this in anything that moves in the market. Don't do it. You'll get hurt. What you can do it in is gaps because of the power of the gap with the institutional money. And I just do this over and over and over again. And it gives you an edge. It gives you an edge. How is someone like me that is the most person in the world that loves to short than anyone in the world? I short 99% of the time of the trades I take from January 1st to December 31st are shorts. How is someone like me, the most person in love with shorts in the world, calling the market higher and right when everyone else says wrong? How is that even possible? How is that conceptually, intellectually, physically possible on the planet because of the gaps? because of gaps, because I'm reading the gaps, because I'm so good at reading gaps, that I can call these outstanding calls over and over and over and over and over again. And that's how you make money, because it's a consistency. Because if you lose more than you win, you won't make it. You'll run out of funds. You'll have to take a break. You'll have to close out your account or refund your account or go do something else for a couple of months or years. It's the consistency that helps me stay through it. And I'll, I gotta tell you one thing. When I was losing, when I was trying to figure the system out for the three years, that I was trying to figure out my method from 2008 when I started trading, it was like three years from the end of 2008 till I figured out my whole 26 points. In that time, I did have a full-time job. I had a full-time job doing mortgages that helped pay for the trading losses, but I will tell you, when I got it right, I made a crap load of money. I made a crap load of money. So, because of the momentum in the gaps when I got it right. So I would play these gaps at sometimes it rate so high, and at the time I didn't know they rated high because I didn't have the points. But I'm saying that I backtracked and figured out the points when I went back and figured it out. But I would make so much money sometimes of the days that I go back and I said, what is that? And then I figured it out and I backtracked the system and that's how I determined the points. But I'm telling you, I made so much on those days that it helped to pay for the losses on the days that I didn't get it right. And all I had to do then was go back and figure out what I saw there to do the good ones. And then it stopped the losses and I had the consistency to find the good ones and then not do the bad ones. Okay, so this is what I teach in the class. But there's so much money in gaps. It has to do with picking the right thing over and over and over and over and over again. Remember, if you know what something will do in a stock, you can make money and you can make a lot of money because gaps move. They can follow through past the day of the gap on the live day and then uh, several days later. But that's how you get the money going. A lot of times you either need the market if you want the follow through to the upside or the downside. And if you don't get the market direction right, the stock won't move in your direction. You can't just trend trade everything. You have to pick it in the gap and get the momentum. And like I said, I like to be in and out early. Now this was one, this was really went way bigger than I thought of the day. This was the yesterday, I think it was, yeah. So the stock closed here, gap down. This is HCNP, it was a pharma, but it actually traded really well, didn't have a big spread. Uh, price point is good, okay? Look at the move of the stock in here. So it closed up here the night before, like 18 something gap down here, broke 15 into the open, dropped, broke, went, fell, almost broke $13, okay? Really nice gap. Now, I have an entry in the class I teach. If you wanted to be aggressive, okay, you could have done this like immediately, but I made a late call in this, okay? I was looking at something else, I was in something else, but anyways, you could have been aggressive in this. Not always, but sometimes you can be. If you were aggressive in this, you could have done this quick and you could have been right out. And this is what I mean. You could have done this in here and just gotten right out. This in here is a dollar. Now, I called the late trade in this. Late trade meaning it wasn't into the open. This is still 9.45, 10 o'clock. It's still early enough to do it. Here and here, it still broke a dollar from this one. But you could have done this and then you could have done the call I made in here. 
Anyways, price of the entry of my call, which was not the immediate call, not the aggressive one, although sometimes I do it, 1462, stop over 1485. Again, it's a difference between the entry and the stop. So it's 23 cents. You're risking 23 cents, okay? All of these entries, I'm giving you an example if you want to make 20 grand a month. You don't need to risk more than $500 or thereabouts for this. So 2,500 shares is 575, and your risk should be similar in all the trades you take. This is how you get the good risk to reward. But eggs, actually the target, the first target was $14. It dropped, broke into 14, broke 14. Total profit in this trade was 1,800. So if your goal is $1,000 a day, and you make almost that goal in one day, in one trade, you're done. But I will tell you, this kept going. This ended up going down to 1,375 was the low. Uh, and and this happens a lot, but you would have been in this more than half an hour. Okay, so I'm just giving you a quick train here if you wanted to do it. Again, this is not this because you could have done this and got out, boom, or you could have done the climb made in here, drop, broke, got out. So whatever you want to do, it depends if you have to go to another job or if you're a trader full time, or if you just like to scalp things into the momentum, which is into the morning. But this is your goal for two days. If your goal is to make a thousand dollars a day, this covers you basically for two days. That's amazing to me. And that's why you have to be consistent. And if you take a trade in the morning and you lose in the one, don't worry about it. Because there's many, many days you'll make two R's or three R's or you'll have a great trade and you'll hold it. I mean, that could have actually broken 13 in the day. It's still lower, by the way. Now, here is the QQQs. I just want to show this because I called this long in the trading room in the morning today. As I was talking about earlier, this gapped up. So this is the ETF in the market. Again, you could use the system to play ETFs that gap. I prefer stocks for the reason that people are emotionally charged with stocks. But, you know, if you do futures or something, this is a good system to use for that. Stock, we closed here on the ETF of the market here. We rallied yesterday, dropped, broke, bounced, rallied into the close, gapped up. And a lot of people thought we'd come in. We did not. And this to me is incredible. Okay, so what I really, really love about my gap rating system is that I can see that a gap like this will hold when most people out there would believe that this would come in, bounce off support or something like that and rally. This is what gives you the edge. This is it. And then this also is the confirmation, again, the SPY did it too, that the market is higher, that the QQQs will make an all-time high this year, that the SPY will too. This is the confirmation. Talk about institutional money. What makes this gap up and hold? Hold in the line of day. Hold like this institutional money they bought the gap up rallied it into the day and bought it the prior day gapped up held held the low and rallied in the day and went to the target on the day anyways here was the trade i called this morning this is really really good and again like i said i love the one minute chart so if you take my class you can learn how to trade in the one minute chart institutional traders trade in the one minute chart hedge funds and banks put positions on into the open or off if they sell out this was a long so they buy it, buy it into the open. Entry price is here, rally, went up right to the target. And I don't know where we gap tomorrow, like I said, but I just see a rally here for the next, to the end of the week. So this is a beautiful, beautiful call in here. You go along the market, boom, you can be right out. Again, 30 minutes or less, you're out. Take it out, take it here, out. Take it here, out. Take it here, out. It doesn't even matter. Whatever you take it out, you're up as soon as you take it. So you could, you could add in here even, you could take a little bit out here. You could put the stop at break even. I mean, there's so many different things you could do, but it's all based on the gap. Here was where the market closed the night before, and then it gapped up here. The arrow's kind of in the middle there, but it gapped up. Oh, here you see it. Anyways, price of the entry is 110.30. Stop, actually it's not over, it's under, is 109.90. This is actually a really, really good stop for the market. It's 40 cents. And I wasn't tight with the call on this. You could have been tighter with the call but it's the market and it's wiggly jiggly and sometimes longs wiggle you out. Anyways, the risk is 40 cents. On 1,400 shares, it's 560 bucks. Again, this should be same or equal with everything you do, every trade, whatever you take, so that your results are very, very similar. Oh, this is wrong. I don't know why this says 58.15. <laughs> I don't know why. That's not correct at all. <laughs> That's wrong. This is wrong too. I can show you the chart into this. This is from an old slide or something. <laughs> Anyways, obviously it's not 58.15. If you took it here and made money. <laughs>
But anyways, here was the call. The target really was 111. It didn't break over that into the morning. It was like 110. It ran up to like 110.96 or 97 was the high in here. So sorry about that. Anyways, the profit is right. <laughs> That's all that matters is the money in your account. You could have made almost $1,000 in this trade, risking 560. So again, this is not two risk units, but it's 1.5. So again, some days you'll take it and you'll risk 500 bucks, you'll make 500. Some days you might make 1,000 on the day, but some days you'll make, like I said, 1,800 or 2,000 or more. It's the idea of not having that many losses and the consistency of what you're looking at doing in the gap and then taking the trade and getting out of the target and playing it into the morning where you get the momentum, where you get the move. Now this, this, this is JPM. This had earnings out this morning. And I gotta tell you, I, I called the target on this at 62. This went over 62. This went past the target I called, but I, I was shocked actually that this worked as good as it did today. The market did help this. All the banks gapped up today. Uh, Wells Fargo and PNC actually report tomorrow morning. So, and BAC, Bank of America as well. So I don't know where they're gonna gap tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. But I will tell you that JPM reported today, gapped up. I think Goldman gapped up today too, but they don't have earnings out until I think the following week. Anyways, all of these stocks are moving, 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 and they're gapping. Some gap up, some gap down. Again, it's the idea of the conviction and the gap, you have to rate it. But I saw it into the open. What did this do? Open took off like a rocket, came in, broke, set up in here, rallied, boom. Actually, this isn't a one minute chart either, it's a five minute, but that's okay, I'm just showing you, you can see down here. Anyways, this is the first five minutes of the day in the stock, boom. And so then you use this information to do what? To take the entry and take the trade. So here's the long, you get it here or here. Stop at the entry, underneath here, underneath the base and you take it up to the rally, and it went past the target, which was 62. Again, this isn't a one minute, it's a five. But the point is that this was a great call too. And this isn't right either. <laughs> Paul, anyways, it stopped under, it's, it was 60.90. It's 40 cents, 1,400 shares, the risk is $560, exit at 62. Anyways, it doesn't matter. The point was, it was a great call. <laughs> But if you risked, again, around 500 bucks, it rallied up, you could have made more than two risk units. So I think everyone, Paul needs to start living in my head a little bit. <laughs> you know, when I'm calling the trades and I'm seeing the trades and I'm taking the trades and I'm doing the trades, I'm doing everything so fast, it's almost like you have to work at the speed of light with me. But the funny thing is, if you do that and you take the trades and take my calls, you'll make money. But I will tell you that this ended up going amazingly well. But just so you know, this is a five minute chart. The point though that I'm trying to make with everything and Paul too, is that it is very possible to make $1,000 a day, which equates to 20 grand a month, which turns out to be well over 200 grand a year. You don't have to risk as much money as I am risking in my trades. I'm risking more than $500 in my day trades, but I've been trading gaps for eight years and I'm an expert in it. I can see things in live time. I can see things at night in the post market when they gap. And I can see things in the pre market when they gap. I'm about to tell you right now, STX is gapping down tonight. It wasn't planned on the earnings. I saw it tonight. I saw it before we did the class. It had earnings. It wasn't planned. STX is a good short tomorrow morning. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make though is that once you get good at something and do it over and over, you don't have to risk all this crazy money to get a good income going. But if you get good and you start to risk more, then that's how you do it. It is about number one, the pick, and then it's about plopping on the sides. So if you, you don't have to do a million trades and you don't have to risk a lot of money. If you take less trades, you will lose less. If you risk in the size and get the size and the stock moves in your favor, it's about the share size. If you have 5,000 shares of something, and if it only moves 50 cents, it's $2,500. And if you have 5,000 shares and it moves a dollar, that's five grand, okay? So the point I'm trying to make is that it's just about getting good. Everybody wants to make this kind of money, but nobody cares about getting good, except for guess what? I did. Three years of my life, I lost money figuring this out, and now I am extremely good at what I do. If your number one objective is getting good, you will make this much money and way, way more.
And that's the point of the whole webinar. Anyways, I teach a class. I teach a class. The class is my method. And actually, I did not make the class for anyone. It's just literally all of my notes together, three years of my rating system, and I put it in a PowerPoint and I teach it. It is authentic. It is everything that I figured out originally. I have never changed one thing since I figured it out. It is full on a great class because I didn't make it for anyone but myself to make money. And, and I've been making money and I've been doing it for years and now I'm teaching people how to do it. And the course teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day to get good risk to reward trades like I showed you. But hey, if you have a trade on the day and you make 500 bucks, it's still $500. That's $500, it's a car payment. And my class also teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, which, which you, gotta, you gotta know. And if you don't know it and you never traded before, you're gonna learn this stuff from me you're gonna learn it from Paul, because Paul is a great teacher. I have to learn to teach him how to do PowerPoints though. <laughs> The course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction because you got to get in the right direction or you're not going to make any money. Uh, and, and the market's along. A lot of people short the market and they're going to get squeezed through. The course teaches you how to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader. And, 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 and that's ultimately what I'm trying to do. I am really working hard with people and trying to mentor them into becoming good traders. I hate it when people do stupid stuff. I hate it when they lose. In fact, this morning in the room, I said, don't short anything today. Go long, go long anything. The market, JPM, don't short. Don't short today, I said. And I don't know what people did, but the bottom line was it was a long today in the market. There were no good shorts, all right? So I teach a class. It is called the Golden Gap System. It's a 26 point rating system and that's it. That's how you make the money and you do it over and over and over again. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And, and you gotta do it. If you don't have a checklist, you are trading what I would call a kamikaze. You get up in the morning and say, well, let me think. What does CNBC say today the market's gonna do? Or what is happening in China? Or what's the econ out today? And you kind of just, you know, make it up as you go along and you're kamikaze it and you can't make money consistently that way. You will never consistently make money that way. So the philosophy behind my system is really to teach you how to find stocks to trade that have a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Big moves on the day, which you got to have an early confirmation of the bias with the move. And I'm looking to get in between 930 and 10 and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. And that's what I'm doing but I'm taking it on the one minute chart. I'm looking at the daily for the points and then I'm going on the one minute, I'm honing it down to get a 10 cent entry, a 20 cent entry, a 40 cent entry. And a 40 cent entry in, in the SPY or the QQQs is great because the price of the ETF, okay? I'm looking to see what the institutions are doing. Are they buying it or are they selling it? So the, so the one minute gives me the degree of focus for a person, a regular person like me, because I have to put the stop in Okay, because I'm not a hedge fund. And then, but the daily with the points tells me what the institutions are going to do. And this is what allows for the accuracy. And that's how you make money. So the daily chart tells me the direction with the accuracy with the points. And the one minute chart, which I teach in the classes, the entries teaches for good risk to reward trades. So as I was saying earlier, I teach a class. I teach a class of classes this weekend. It's April 16th and 17th. It's live. It's online. And I teach it. And I'm telling you, I'm the best person to learn from on gaps. There's no one out there that reads gaps as well as me. I will say that I will put myself up in anyone in the world and on live television. And this call that I made in the market is absolutely outstanding. And, and I make a lot of good calls. But I'll tell you, it was a, it was a tough thing to see. And it's, it's going to work out and play out. And so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the year. I'm excited to keep teaching people. I'm excited to continue to help people make money. I just met a student, a long, long time student about two weeks ago who I never met, never met, lives in Pennsylvania, came to New York to meet me face to face. And he isn't in the room anymore with me, but he was at the beginning, the first year he did the class back, I think in 2013. And, and he's successful. And, and I met the guy and it's just amazing. And he said, I've changed his trading, I've changed his life and he doesn't do anything else but trade. And it was an amazing feeling. I mean, he did the class, like I said, back in 2013, but I never met him before. And I met this person, this person that I changed your life. I changed his life. He doesn't have a job. He just trades. And he's not even in the room anymore with me. I, and it's a great feeling. Okay. It's a great, great feeling. So 
uh, you can do it. You know, he, he's just a guy, a guy that lives in Pennsylvania. And so you got to decide if this is something that you want to do. And, and if you do, I can teach you. So the class is this weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday, April 16th and 17th. It's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time, and you can retake it. So you sign up once, you can retake the class as many times. You do it in April, you want to do it again in June, whatever, okay? Cost of the class is $49.99, and this is in U.S. dollars. And email me if you want to sign up. The papers to sign up are not on the website. You must email me directly to register. Deadline is Friday. This is something great. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm offering now for this time because earnings season started this week. I started doing options at the end of last year using my gap rating method, and I started the letter. It's an annual letter. I'm already in some of these already, and I'm doing an options letter. You can get the options letter for free for the year if you sign up for the class, this class. This normal letter price is $29.99. So this is a steal because the class is $49.99. You're going to save three grand. And you can make this much in one of the options. And I'm so excited. I'm in one right now. Actually, I'm in three. But I mean, I'm in one right now that I'm really, really excited about. This isn't even the close today. I'm actually up more than this into the close today. But I clipped this from this afternoon. I'm in the Amazon. The, uh, the earnings are next Thursday. I'm in the Googles. This is next Thursday. Actually, this isn't right either. This was from the other day. <laughs> this is from the other day. Paul is hilarious. I actually added to this. So I have 60 now. I have 60 of these because of pullback yesterday. I lowered my price. I took more. And this is the crazy thing. And I'm going to send an email about this by saying this. So it pulled back. So this pulled back and I took more. I cost averaged my position down took more of the position because I actually had a price of 78 cents. Who would do that? This was a gutsy thing to do. But I'm telling you, this is what I do. By the end of the close today, I was up over 2,000 in this. And I have 6,000 shares. And so actually, this is wrong because right now with the ad that I did, the 60 shares that I took, I risked what would have been the cost basis would have been $3.3 .3 million, I, or, or 3.5, I'm sorry. But the bottom line is I ended up paying, I ended up paying 4000 for this position. This was wrong because this was last week. Anyways, I'll update everyone on this. The point is, this is a great trade. You could take this trade if you want. I don't I have no idea what's gonna be worth tomorrow. You will pay more than 75 cents. But if you could even get this anywhere near a dollar, dollar twenty-five, it it's a good price. This is a good, good price for the Amazons. Anyone ask me questions if you have questions on that? Here's today. Here's the chart today. Stock gapped up. And again it gapped up. So I took more of it. Do you see what I'm saying here? Actually, I took more yesterday, but I'm just saying I saw the rally yesterday. Market dropped, broke, fell, and this followed and carried through, and it broke over this area, and then it gapped up today, ran up, held. Over 620, Amazon's going to fly, fly to the moon. Next target over the 620 is 640. Anyways, this is a bullish gap up that happened back here. But anyways, to make a long story short, you get the options letter free for the year, which which is just incredible. And even if you can't day trade every day, you can do the options trades, but you know the system, you know the points. You can get up in the morning and rate the gap on Amazon and decide if you wanna do an option in it a week ahead of the earnings. Actually, it's more than a week because it's next Thursday and today is Wednesday. And you could just trade it out. Trade it out, if the gap rates well, do it. And if it doesn't, you won't. And you don't even have to sit there and day trade every day. Even though I do, I day trade every morning, but you could, and that's the point that I'm saying. And like I said, it's earnings season. Earnings season, you know, it's just a good time to, to, to trade. And and I like STX tomorrow to short. All right, this is one from the other week, but I'm just telling you if you want a good one. And I also teach a class on trends. I'm really good at, you know, teaching people how to not only do the gaps, but then read long-term trends. Long-term trends to the upside, long-term trends to the downside, whatever you want to do. And I'm in these overnight longs, but I like to day trade short. So if you sign up for the gap class, and the trends class at once, you save almost 500 bucks. So then you'd learn how to do the long-term trades for swing trades or options. You get the options letter free for the year. And you get the gap class and the trends class. So this is a, just a great savings if you want to do it all. This is some really nice stuff. I saw this recently on the web uh, because I've made some updates to my website. I don't even know some of this stuff was on there about me. Some of these people, I don't even know who they are because I don't give their first and last name. But there's some very nice things about me on on the internet if you want to read. These are students, and like I said, I, I don't even talk to necessarily everyone that's done my class. Sometimes people reach out to me if they have a question. I teach you how to trade alone. You don't have to be in the room with me. I don't hold anything back. 
sometimes people join the room. I think it makes it easier to make the money back for the class if you're in the room. But, but a lot of people that have taken my class are not in the room and are doing it themselves. And so it's great to see this kind of feedback on the internet about, about my class. And it is great to know that I have really changed people's outlook on the market and their ability to be able to make money. And, and you can take the class if you want. And Paul is helping me run the live training room and he's just a fantastic person and a fantastic teacher. And we look at things really the same. We look at things the same except for the market because, because that's a tricky, it's a tricky one. Looking at the market is tricky, but I will tell you that the one thing that has helped me stand out in everything that I do is the fact that I have never, never, never done anything but gaps. So for eight years I've lived and breathed gaps and I tell you, if you want to make money, get good at one thing. Just do it. Do it till you become an expert. And that's it. All right, any questions? Any questions from anyone? I kind of went off on a tangent. Does anyone have any questions there? Let me know. Sorry about some of the slides were off, but if you have questions about those trades, just email me. I'm, I'm offering the open house, which is Thursday and Friday. We can go over some of the stuff in the room in the next two days. Actually, come. Come to the room tomorrow. We have, we're going to work Yeah. STX, I can't see how that doesn't work. Now, it's not tomorrow morning, but tonight it looks great. It's breaking. I didn't plan on that. I think it falls through tomorrow. Come to the room, and you can get the call, and you can follow me or listen and just watch or get the trade. And I have no idea where the market gaps tomorrow, but I just love it to follow through. Does anyone have questions about the class or anything? So I'm offering the open house. Email me if you want to come to the open house if you're not sure how to get in. Okay, just email me here. If you want to sign up for the class, I don't know why that goes up there. If you want to sign up for the class, you have to email me. This options letter, though, is a steal, people. You could, you could, this, uh, I don't even want to talk about Amazon because I don't want to, I don't want to say anything else about it, but I'm really so excited. I'm just thrilled to bits and pieces. But it's a week out. Does anyone have any questions about anything? Anything at all? If you don't have time to day trade, you can do the options. If you want to day trade every day with me, you can. And just get my calls and do it and learn it. If you have been struggling with something and don't have a strategy, I'm telling you, my system works. So it's up to you. And I'm very happy to have Paul. He's a great addition in the room. He looks at things similar to me. But it's great to have a different a different eye on things sometimes. Sometimes he sees long or short that I don't see. You know, some of these traits in here were his calls, like the NC, you know? Great call, nice call. And I didn't do it, and it, and it worked. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Let me know. All right, everybody, have a great night. Oh, there, Kathy has the information about the room. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Hello everyone again. Thank you so much for your time and your participation here today. We especially want to thank our presenters, Mr. Armo and Paul Lang, and each and every one of you for your time and your participation here today. Have a great day,